What's up everybody, it's your boy Moses and I am uh, back again with another video. This video is kind of really dear to me. It's very special to me. This is the first sit-down video I'm going to be doing uh, since the channel reached 10,000 subscribers. It is crazy to imagine a few months ago we were barely at 3,000 subscribers and then we got to 5,000 subscribers and now we are 10,000 subscribers. And I have all of you guys to thank for that thank you for rocking with me on the journey thank you for liking the content thank you for sharing the content thank you for commenting thank you for engaging thank you for all the support really uh, all of this wouldn't have been possible without the support of you guys so uh i am here today to kind of just you know demonstrate a new product that i got uh i came out media this is a company that I really love what they do. Uh, they reached out to me last week and uh, asked me to check out the new piano VST they just did. This piano VST is sampled from pretty much some of the best pianos out there, uh, well-maintained pianos, and the possibilities are endless with this VST. So I'm going to demonstrate some of that for you. And I actually have a giveaway, which I'm going to be announcing at the end of this video. So you want to make sure you stay tuned so that you can know what you need to do to win a copy of Pianovas, a copy of Vianovas, uh, Pianovas, uh, pardon me. Uh, there are four versions of Pianovas. Uh, there's the upright version, and there's like the New York one, there's the classical one, and, uh, you know, it, it, I'm still going through it, you know, the concert grand, the royal upright, the New York grand, and the black diamond all of these are sampled based on different different things and all of that information is on their website if you want to go check it out right for sure go check it out uh, i'll have a like i'm going to be demonstrating this and i'm not doing a deep dive into you know what each of this version has to offer i'm just going off of the playability the sound you know the intuitiveness how you know how can you mess around with these quickly easily without any kind of bugs crashes anything and the sound coming from it you know all this kind of thing is what we're looking at in this video so stay tuned let's enjoy yourselves uh, i'm gonna just be playing a bunch of tunes i'm gonna be freestyling i'm gonna just be checking out the piano as i feel as i play the piano and you know let's rock together grab a seat grab a cup of coffee chill uh, and let's kind of just have some fun. So I'm starting with my own preset. Uh, if you look at my screen right here, uh, by the way, like I said, this is this is an interesting collaboration with myself and IKEA Multimedia. If you guys know me, I've been using IKEA Multimedia products for a while. I've been using their plugins. Uh, if I kind of click on my plugin right here, you see IKEA Multimedia, you see all of these plugins. I've honed them for over two years right now. Like I've been I've been using their product. If you've been following my channel for a while, I used uh, my, the organ that I use on all of my production in the studio is the Amon B3X. And I made a video about that. I'm putting it somewhere right here, right now. You can go check that out. So I've been, I've been rocking with IK Multimedia for a while. So when they reached out to me, I was really excited because this is, this is a company I'm familiar with. Their sampling is top notch. Uh, if you've heard of Tonex, if you've heard of Amplitude, uh, Amplitude, if you uh, play guitars, uh, for the guitar players, and all of those kind of stuff, really. So, I can multimedia is it's just it's just fantastic. So, this is a this is a really really dope opportunity, and I really appreciate them reaching out to me and asking me to to do this. So, you guys go check out this plugin, go check out this VST, go go check it out, go check it out. 
uh, it's on it's on right now. It's on sale. It's one twenty dollars, I believe, but it's on sale for just ninety nine dollars right now. And there's a subscription model for it. If you want to subscribe, I think it costs you just a few dollars every month to subscribe to have access to all the four pianos that are currently available, and also more pianos they are going to be adding to the pack. So you already have access to all of that stuff. So. Go grab it. Go check it out now. Let's enjoy some piano. So I'm going to kind of just... I'm starting from my own preset. The vintage classical. Uh, the one, this one right here, is the very first one that kind of just... That kind of grabbed my attention and I tweaked a couple of things. And then uh, we're going to just rock with it. So, uh, like I said, I'm not doing in-depth tutorial of what's up in here, right here. Uh, but some of the things I think I should mention is all of these things, you really can, like, put me the assignment to most of these parameters, right? And I already assigned this space right here because reverb is my thing, I like it, right? So I already assigned my modulation wheel to the space and I'm gonna kind of be messing with it. So this is this piano right now, uh, dry, no delay, no anything, uh, compression, EQ, and the space, like I said, you can see, is fully all the way down. Uh, so, this is what that sounds like. Mm. Look at that. So this mic is in close position, all right? I think the the, the close mics, and then if we do this coincident, that's the one. So what is? They seem a little far away, right? They seem a little far away, right? A little bit more roomy. By the way, no other effect on this piano. This is raw and it's just a limiter in here to just make sure I'm not clipping. Okay, so no other effect. Everything you're hearing is coming from piano verse right here. So let's go back to close mic. I kind of like that one. It just feels a little more intimate. Now let's add some, some reverb into that, right? The weird thing about this reverb is you can choose the kind of space that you want, right? So if I go to the space section right now, I'm currently in theater. We have so many other rooms to check out, right? Like like this room right here, Academy. Again, so back to dry, right? You can see my space right here, back to dry. Now I'm exaggerating the Academy room.
if you play this, this this feels so real. This feels like an actual grand man. This this is crazy. Let's try the cathedral. Yeah, I gotta like cathedral and be church boy. Hmm. Let's go all the way. This is big. is interesting what's the what's up with the club mm. yeah 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 that sounds like a club that sounds like a club not too big for sure let's play let's let's play something by the way this loop is coming, it's part of my MJP gospel loop pack. If you're looking for some dope loops to use for like live performances, church productions, um, praise and worship, you go grab it, link in my description. So I'm going to be using those loops to kind of just work my way 
as I'm vibing on this on this uh, interesting VST that we're both looking at. I'm having so much fun. Now, now, one nice thing about this is there's a velocity curve in here that you can adjust based on your MIDI controller, right? Which I kind of like. So I find my own sweet spot around here, which I like it. Uh, my challenge right here is I only have a sustained pedal. I don't have a soft pedal or a soft to neutral pedal or anything like that. And I was hoping maybe I could just click on this and achieve that softness, right? That dampened sound. But I can't. Maybe I have to, I get, I have to get a pedal for that. So it just, that one is such a bummer, honestly. So I think I, I could just, I wish I could just use my mouse, click on this, and it turns on, and I can turn it off when I want to as well, right? But again, uh, I could understand that people may mistakenly turn that on and all of that stuff. So maybe that's why they didn't put it, but... It would have been nice if it is actually an option. That's just what I'm thinking about, right? Mm. So we got all of that. And then you can still send to a delay. Oof. Yeah, look at that. So if I go to effect section, my delay, I can sync it to my tempo, right? And then there are different there are different types of 
mode as well, right? So left, center, right, left, right. There's a mono delay. It's pretty much just coming out of the center, right? So if I want my delay to be a little more, I might increase the input. That's too much feedback, right? I'm already playing with my space already. Now let's 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 I want to check out another space. Oh my god. Forest? What? Okay. I'm telling you that this is my first time listening to this as well. I literally just installed this plugin today, guys. So, if you see me surprised, I'm actually surprised. Let's, let's start with all of this, first of all. I want to turn off the delay because I want to make sure the delay is not messing with what I'm hearing, right? Mm. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I gotta, that, that is driving me crazy. It's like some kind of theme score type of stuff right there. This piano is good. Okay, so so where's the resonance? Uh, all of that right here. Mm, 
Hmm. If I take out pattern noise, uh, releases, wait, let's see. If you play an actual piano, actually, actual grunt, from what I remember from the last time I played one, the resonance on this octave around here is just always different. Like, it, it resonates even much more than every other thing here. And I think they model that as well. So even though I try to remove that eye resonance, like, that resonance, I, I, I took everything out. But it's still having it because actually... It's still gonna be there. But if you come down here, you see how sharp that is? Oof. So let's think, change the LED, LCD or the lead position, I wanna say. So no matter how much I took off, you know, take the lead away. I don't know. Let's see. Note value. What's in here? Okay. So now note value is pretty much my my level, my volume right here. So put it back at zero. Uh, anything I do here doesn't really matter. The resonance here is not going away. Just like the way it's not going to go away in a key, in an actual grand piano. So, oof, this is amazing. So let's go back a little bit of uh, pedal noise, release. Let's put it back on. This response is good, man. Yo, yo, we're gonna stay here all through the night. Let's go look at another model. We've been on the on the concert ground and I I just can't go through all of these all of this stuff one after the other. Let's see rich modern jazz. Uh, I don't know what's inside, but <laughs> let's see how it sounds. The only thing that kind of um, that bothers me a little bit is the time it takes to load this preset is a little disturbing, right? Not a jazz player, so don't judge me.
But let's check out let's check out the Royal Upright. Let's check out the Royal Upright. This is uh and uh, okay, let's look at the indie pop upright. Really, I don't know what is gonna be in this one, but let's see how it sounds. I said we want to do some CCM Maverick City style upright piano, right? Now let's think of a song, right? I think it's still loading or something. Actually, check out another one. I'm not feeling that one. I'll be honest. I'm not feeling that preset. So let's check out another preset. All right here. And let's see. Still, there's something I'm still looking for. I'm trying to find it. I hope I can go through this preset before I can find it. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. We've tried cool up right. What of classical etudes? Uh, that's the first one inside of the preset. Inside of the the first preset in here. So I'm hoping it will sound good, right? Uh, okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere. The question here is, where is this? All right, if I put this in, uh, in a different space, let's see. Uh, where are the spaces? Theater. Hmm. Okay, this is sanctuary. If we put it in the sanctuary, let me go back to the piano itself. Yeah, okay. Now, let's put this wheat all the way. I want it stereo. Okay, now let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the, the space. Actually, you know what? What kind of miking is this one? Let's do the close miking. You see the EQ in on this, if we take out the EQ completely, right? Let's 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 play a song with this one.
there's something in there, something in there. Let's see this so lo-fi. If you're like a lo-fi producer, I want to be looking for anything like that. And um, there's so many people doing lo-fi right now, using pianos, upright pianos. So what does this sound like? Mm. If we had the beats to it, It sounds like a mono signal right now. Yeah, that that sounds that sounds like an upright man. That sounds like an upright piano right there. Uh, let's do let's let's check another piano type. Uh, if we try to go to the New York Grand uh, concert, classical concert Grand, let's check that one out and see what's in there. Let's see what's inside of that one right there. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> Mm. Mm. This feels so calming. Ballet studio. Uh, space is not on. Uh, nothing else is on. Weight is in here. Maybe I'll change my velocity curve. I wish there's a way I can keep my velocity curve whenever I switch preset. Right? I don't want to keep changing my velocity curve every time I switch preset. I want my velocity curve to kind of stay. Maybe there should be like a lock button where I can lock my velocity curve and I can change preset without having to change velocity curve every time. Uh, that's just my own take on that one. If if that can be done, man, I think that would be that would be nice. And also the same thing for for like the space option, for example. Uh, if there's a way I can lock my space option so that every time I load up a new preset, uh, it comes with zero percentage of space so that I can kind of hear what the true stuff is right here so now i want this mic to be close mic uh this feels a little distant yeah see how intimate that is right now mm. and then you can hear the noises from the piano making it feel like this is actually recorded with mics in the studio like the armor noises When I press the damper. Look at that. But then. The armor noise is there as well. Mm. Now maybe it's that it's that's becoming a little too much. So I'll bring down that armor noise a little bit.
this piano is is giving me an interesting vibe, man. It's put in the garage. I want to stay right here. Yo, oof, my God, we gotta go to another one. Ah, ah God, I'm gonna be spending so much time making piano content right now, man. These pianos are crazy. So this one, this uh, particular black diamond, I think it's called, uh, it's gonna load up so I can see the name right now. Again, like I said, I literally just installed this thing today. I got it installed today. So I am as new as a newbie can be to these things right now so okay can you load up all right so this is a black diamond is there full information now this is this is from italy interesting okay yeah i just want to play i don't want to know where this came from at least not right now 
All right, so my space, I still have a map, it's still working. I like that. This is a good one. I like the fact that when I change preset, what I mapped hasn't changed. Thank you for that. Except for my velocity curve that has changed. So I'm going to uh, tweak that a little bit right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at this piano. Gorgeous sounding piano, man. Gorgeous sounding piano. Uh, what are we? I want close. I like close mics. I don't know. But again, there is application. If you want it to feel roomy, you go for the... What's this called? Coincident one? And then close one if you want it to feel kind of like intimate. Ugh. Oh, no, he's giving me five of this one. Let's look for another one in this. I'm liking this black diamond. I'm liking this black diamond. Really, really loving it. Uh, if I try to use Grand Studio, what does that sound like? By the way, let's see. How long have we been recording for? Whew, be like 50 minutes. Interesting. This is this is what happened with Piano Verse, man. When you get a new plugin that you kind of liking, you just want to like, whew, stay there. What? This one sounds a little louder. Maybe the compression is on or something. Yeah, excess. So the compression is on with a little bit more output. Again, 
if I don't want all of that noise that is coming, I can bring all of that down uh, right here. So this piano is natural, warm, grand piano with brilliant tone. Mm. That's this one. That's this one. Let's just try a couple more, really, and see what is inside. I really am digging this keyboard, man. You just want to practice more. You want to vibe more. Uh, you don't need to have. You can get that $100,000 piano sound with $100. Whew. I mean, large crisp. A spacey piano inspired, okay. Mm. Let me guess, is that the forest space? Oh, this one is ice bag. Interesting. <laughs> oh my god, this is some kind of film score stuff, man. Uh, you just want to like, you know do some film score with some interesting uh with some interesting cinematic sound going on in the background you know you want to pull that up without trying to uh, mess with a lot of effect yeah this is already doing all of that work for you oh have i tried this one already i think i've tried this already okay no maybe i've not Natural ground. Check this one out. Let's check this one out. I kind of dig in. This is the New York one. This is this is the one you're gonna be getting. All right, the one the person who wins. Uh this this is really not a challenge. A random person will be taking. Uh, and whoever wins is gonna be getting a copy of this one. So if I go to uh, rich landscape, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so we got the effect, we got the shimmer in here that is happening.
this thing, <laughs> this this thing is this thing is gorgeous, man. I came out to media. What did you do? All right, all right. Okay, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up, man. Let's go back to my own preset that I, the first preset I made when I opened this up. This is the first preset that I made. So let's wrap it up with this one, right? Uh, we're gonna go into the key of B flat, A sharp. So, all right. I change the mic position and it change the way the piano feel, right?
This thing is going to make you play, play, play until your hands get tired. <laughs> Oh man, I had fun doing this. Thank you, IK Multimedia. And now for you that wants to win a copy of this, all you got to do is type in the comment below and just type hashtag PNOVS, hashtag IK Multimedia. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, right? Let me look at you properly. Let me look at you properly. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hashtag PNOVS, hashtag IK Multimedia. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to IK Multimedia's channel. And also, the uh, the final winner is going to be announced on my Instagram. So I'm going to be putting the Instagram, my Instagram page down below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. The final winner, the winner is going to be announced. Uh, you're also going to be getting a copy of my loop pack that just came. Uh, again, I'm going to show you, play a couple of them for you right here quickly. This is this is the 4-4 four, four loops. Uh... Ooh, this is one to make me play some kind of salsa. Let, you know what? Let's just play a little salsa. Let's play a little salsa. How about that? Let's see. Can we? Uh, let's see. Do this. Pack. This thing is crazy. A lot of African African vibes, uh, Afrobeat, worship. Oh. You, sh you should go check it out. All right, link is in the bio. So the winner of uh, of the piano verse is going to be getting a copy of piano verse. Right, the specifically the new york uh grand right here this new york 274 s274 i think that's the one that's the one you're going to be getting and a loop pack right comment below hashtag ik multimedia hashtag pianoverse and also 10 other people 10 other people to celebrate our 10k subscribers 10 other people are also going to be getting the full version of this loop pack okay there are six eight loop in there as well right so we got six eight we got four four so you're not just getting only you know uh four four signature loops okay there are six six eight six signature loops in there uh we have it in template different templates studio one template five and six logic pro template for sure uh ableton live template that's my own personal favorite we got that so you're going to be winning uh, all of these, the total bundle, that's what you're going to be winning. 10 other people are going to be winning the loop pack. And uh, one person is going to win the loop pack plus this piano right here. If I change this as usual, we know I would do it. Uh, you know I don't like it to be too far away. So if I go in here and change it to a close mic, just listen to this piano.
this piano sounds beautiful. You're gonna be winning that. So let the challenge begin. A uh, random person is gonna be picked. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so that you can know when this is announced. This is gonna be announced by the end of the week. Okay. So make sure you're following me so that you can know when this is announced on Instagram. Follow IK Multimedia on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to IK Multimedia's channel. All of that link, I'm gonna be putting it down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is so fun. This is so, so fun for me. Really, I enjoyed myself just, just playing, just enjoying myself on this keyboard, bro. Like, ah, oh, man. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Moses in the building. I'm out, yo. Bye.